Hello everyone. So uh, I have a small patio behind my house and uh, a few times I heard quite a few weird noises. So I decided to, to install a security camera, but I am um, supposed to move out. My contract expires in a few months. So I'm supposed to move out. So I don't want to invest into an expensive uh, security camera. So I decided to use a trail cam. You can use a trail cam as a security camera you just install it and it will be triggered when whenever someone walks uh, in front of it. So um, I didn't want to invest too much money. So I bought the cheapest trail cam I could find on the market. And uh, I'm going to do some inboxing and um, we're going to install it and we're going to check out the, few, the video. So let's open up and let's see what we have inside. All right, so first of all, we have the camera. All right, package. What else do we have in this box? Uh, we have a charging cable or a data cable. We have a card reader, which is quite uh, annoying because I already bought a card reader last week. I did not, I would get one for free. Uh, we have a strap which I presume to, to tie it around the tree or anything like that. And we have the manual. All right, the user manual. Let's see the user manual. User manual, as usual on these cheap Chinese products, it's very basic. It's supposed to film at, um, supposed to take 12 megapixel uh, photo resolutions and it's supposed to film to uh, 920 to 10p, uh, supposed to film in high definition basically. Uh, we're gonna test it to see how high definition this is, but uh, for 20 pounds, I don't expect much. Anyway, this is the manual, so uh, let's see what's inside the back. All right, so inside the back, we have the camera. Okay, so this is the best part. When you buy a new product, this is the best part. Removing the film. All right, that was the fun, that was the enjoyable part of this video. Okay, so I've seen these cameras around. They're quite, they're, they're sold under different brands, but it's basically the same camera. Um, it's supposed to be high definition, but I doubt it. I think it's about 720p. It's not 1020, 780p, sorry. Um, it's very straightforward, basically. Right here, you, you add two, you put two batteries and then, to start it, you just have one off or on button, and that's it. You don't have to add uh, any kind of. Uh, well, the disadvantage is that you can you cannot set it up, or you don't have any kind of uh, room to um, to adjust the camera. But on the bright side, it's just a simple push and play. That's it. So this is the camera. Also in the back. There is a thread to mount it on a tripod, if you want to mount it on a tripod, which I think I will use it. I'll just have to find a proper tripod to mount it on, or probably I'll stick something into a wall. Or if you're um, using it to um, in a weld, you just have to use one of these straps. You strap it around a tree, doesn't have to be a big tree because it's this is not too big and then uh, that's how it works a very straightforward very simple to use very uh, basic camera uh, so uh, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna install it on a balk on a patio and then we'll see how well this camera performs also you can add the external battery this here you can put your batteries in and then with this charging cable you just add another uh, uh, auxiliary battery if you want to use it for longer periods of time but usually um, the batteries in these small cameras if you put if you put one of these in the forest and there's not much of an activity the the batteries last for about five months five six months so i wouldn't worry too much about having an external power all right enough with the chit chat let's go ahead and test the camera 
So I bought this camera in 2018 and I installed it in a forest in Romania. Uh, this is me here. Uh, in after I installed the camera, I'm spreading some corn on the ground and um, this is my first victim. Well, luckily this victim survived because I'm not a hunter. So uh, this um, that corn attract this uh, wild boar and uh, he came to eat the corn that I spread on the ground. So yeah, this was back from this this video. It's actually back from uh, 2018. Um, this camera worked just fine. Um, right here, you can see um, a her herd of boars. I'm not sure if that's the correct her terms, but these are a bunch of uh, animals, and and these are beautiful animals. Uh, they seem quite healthy, and um, this is the camera. This is the capture that the camera took of these animals. Um, uh, later on, you'll see that. Uh, okay, so right here it doing, is during the night time. Um, so this is actually on the um, um, winter storm. This is like a, a snowstorm. So this boy is trying to uh, look for food in the in the storm, and this is a deer. And unfortunately, this deer start to lick the camera and try to nibble on the camera, which attracted um, this bear. <laughs> This bear probably felt the scent of the of the deer, and then uh, he came uh, to investigate and tried to uh, rip off the camera. Yep, this bear tried to attempt to uh, rip off the camera. It's actually a mama bear and uh, with a cub. So right here you can see them that they're unsuccessful and then they try to walk away. Uh, beautiful animals, very beautiful animals. So, um, okay, this is the bear I'm trying to eat the camera again. <laughs> uh, but fortunately the camera so I installed the camera on the corner of my patio and um, it covers that most of the patio right here um, okay so um, right here you would see that the camera is triggered by a pigeon so um, it's quite sensitive actually I would say it's very sensitive uh, sometimes because if the wind blows a little bit harder the camera is going to be triggered um, right here let's go ahead and test how the camera looks on uh, nighttime um, so I was just adjusting the camera here anyway so this is the nighttime um, that's me walking around my patio in the nighttime it is a uh, pitch black outside um, the infrared covers most of the patio actually the infrared illuminates most of the patio so in case of uh, someone breaking in i'll be able to uh, to figure out and um, so this is a good this i, I would say it, it's a bit, very decent camera for the price so overall impression for what i use this camera you know what it's kind of worth it i paid, like i said i paid about 20 pounds for it uh 20 pounds it's absolutely nothing uh like i said it's the cheapest camera i could find the cheapest uh trail camera I could find uh, on eBay and um, you know what for 20 pounds to have something that if you if you cannot afford a security camera in your back garden um, this is perfect it's better to have something than nothing if you have a shed you can stick it in your shed um, if if the camera disappears from your shed then that means you someone broke into your shed <laughs> um, but yeah uh, the footage is less than uh, I think it's 480p um, I think that's was the next below under 720 it's definitely not the 720p uh if you if you, someone breaks into your back garden uh it's it's a it's a video it's a footage that can be used by the police to identify someone even if it's on a night time because this infrared it's absolutely fantastic for 20 pounds this infrared to be of such a good quality i was quite some i was very surprised uh so yes um for a cheap security camera or even if you want to watch foxes and you want to stick it somewhere in your uh, uh, local um, uh, forest, yeah, maybe um, maybe it's great. Um, but if you're a professional photographer or if you want to get good quality um, videos of wildlife, I would say no. This is not a 720p uh, resolution. This is lower than 720p for sure um but i only use it just on the back of um just on my back patio because you know it's better to have something for the security uh, than nothing so uh, i'm going to install it a bit uh higher 
on my uh, patio. I'm not going, like it's really cold outside. In the winter time, I rarely go on a, on a patio. So I'm not gonna go there that often. But uh, yeah, it's fantastic for the price. 20 pounds is great. I'll leave a link, link for um, for Amazon if you want to buy from the Amazon. Although on Amazon, uh, they're a bit more expensive at about 30 pounds. Honestly, I wouldn't buy 30 pounds. I would just go on eBay and, pay, pay, buy, and buy it for uh, uh, 20 pounds.